Libra friends, welcome to Readings by Roxby. I am going to do your weekly general reading for the week of November 5th to the 11th, 2018. This will be for Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs. And as always, Libra, just keep in mind that it is a general reading. If it does not resonate for you, please watch your other signs. So for you guys, I am using the beautiful Shadowscapes Tarot. For Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs. Libra, those of you that would like to get a private reading, you definitely want to follow me on Facebook. We go live every Wednesday for weeklies, a weekly reading per element for every sign. Instant go if you guys would like a quick question answered. But the links to everything that you guys need are right below the video in the description box. see what we got. Thank you all so much for being here. I truly appreciate you guys. I really do. Very nice. The Wheel of Fortune. Beautiful. Karma. Destiny. Things happening at the precise moment in time that they're meant to happen. Really completing something amazing on a grand scale. Big changes. Things going in your favor. Beautiful. Your foundation. The Two of Pentacles. Reversed. No more juggling. Let something go. That was a burden. Ten of Wands. Crowning you. The King of Pentacles reversed. Moving forward. King of Swords. Listen, some of you could be dealing with two men, definitely. That's the first thing I'm seeing here. An air sign, Libra Gemini, and a, or an Aquarius with the King of Swords. Um, and then Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. With the King of Pentacles reversed. You know, whether this is true work or family, whatever it was, is in the recent past, it was a lot of burdens, a lot of responsibilities. And I think you, you, you just, it was too much. You had to dump something. You know, both of these cards are moving into the past. You know, your foundation is what brings you to your, to your, to your current energy. Your foundation, the past is what brings you to your current energy, which is the wheel of fortune. New beginnings, big changes. Some of you ended a partnership. Could have even been involved in a third party. Because you do have two kings here. And the two of pentacles. Reversed. Like it, it, I mean, it's so straight up. It's literally dropping the burdens. Dropping the bullshit. In a very positive way. I feel like you totally did the right thing. You ended something that was... No way working out for you. It was just too heavy. Weighing on you. Dragging you down. 
Or maybe you weren't getting, getting paid enough at your current job. Or it was literally, literally just sucking the life out of you. Literally. I mean, really. This is the, really my, my most favorite card in the entire deck. Karma, destiny, things happening at the precise moment in time that they're meant to happen. The wheel turning in your favor. Monumental life change here. Libra. Monumental. Huge. Some of you are dealing with an air sign male. Or you are the air sign male. That's coming through very serious, determined, focused, all about the truth. This person does not waver. Could be a lawyer. Someone that works within the legal system. A psychologist. This is someone that you absolutely could trust. They're very clear with their communication, stellar communication. This person is absolutely 100% Libra on the up and up. As to where the King of Pentacles, the Earth sign, Virgo Taurus Capricorn, this person is very greedy. Some of you could be dealing with an earth sign. If this is on the love front, someone needs to go. And it's 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 going to be this earth sign. This person is obsessed with money, security, stability to the point where, I mean, really, where it's, it's totally stressing them out. Very heavy. If you have earth in your chart, this could be you. you know, absolutely. You need to let something go. So that this wheel could progress forward. Right? Some of you would absolutely love a promotion at work. You've been struggling to get the promotion at work, but again... This wheel, this wheel is turning in your favor and things are changing. Again, in a, in a monumental way. Let's clarify it. We're going to use the Crystal Visions. We're going right to this King of Pentacles. This, um, yeah, King of Pentacles. Yeah, let's do him first. a jumper so we would be taking it no 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 Gemini oh, Virgo this person this male is most likely a Virgo and this is someone that absolutely cannot be trusted okay this is a no, no, no way. Complete manipulator, greedy, like crazy greedy. If it's work, career, you're financially drained. Really. Wheel of Fortune. Okay, jumped right out. Page of Swords. This could be definitely be a situation in the past where you were trying to get a hold of someone 
But it could be an Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I mean, especially air. I mean, this definitely could be you doing this. Where you were trying to get a hold of someone and they were just uncomfortable. Like, they didn't want to talk to you. If they were closed off completely or you were. But again, things are absolutely changing. There could be... Issues maybe with an air sign child. One of your children. Let's see. The King of Swords. Queen of Pentacles. This is interesting. It looks like a couple. This could be you. This could be a partner, spouse, or someone you work with. Again, earth sign. Or you are the female air sign with air sign energy. And right now, you need to be one tough bitch to the point where they come to you for advice. They trust you. You know, this is trustworthy energy here. Big time. By the end of the week, beginning of next, very positive energy for you around that time. Guys, if this didn't resonate, please watch your other signs because I'm getting... There's just too many people around you involved with, with the situation. Stress at work. Financially feeling drained. But... Absolutely, positively, things are changing for you in such a positive way. All right, I'm going to get you guys one of these cards. The mo they're um, Moonology. With all of the... By Yasmin Boland. With all of the moon cycles. I've been eyeing these up for a while. Now is just the perfect time for me to get them. They're absolutely amazing. And you guys are my fourth sign. And it's been correlating with the reading. So I love that. I'm sorry if I sound hoarse. I really, you know, tis the season. I'm definitely getting a cold. <coughs> I mean, spiritually, physically, I feel fine. But you now you just get that cold and everything else is fine. <laughs> Pulling you a Romance Angels card. Don't let your path hold you back, South Node. Wow, listen, you know, a job, a relationship has become suffocating. I mean, really, this card could not resonate more with this reading. You know, crap. Look at that. I forgot, I totally forgot to look at the bottom of the deck. For you guys, there you are. Justice. Balanced. Really, legal issues. If it's, if it's legal, definitely will go in your favor. Whatever it is. 
things are, are I'm sorry, the moon is under this too. After going through confusion, things up in the air, not knowing what the hell's going on, dropping something. You're balanced. And not only that, this card is a karmic energy. And so is justice. Both karmic cards. This, you know, this this happens for a reason, people. This is literally getting what you deserve, reaping the karmic rewards, rising up from past difficulties. Because you, you totally released a job, a relationship, whatever wasn't healthy for you. Bye. Whatever you felt stuck in. It was released. You know, for some of you, a relationship, you know, is karmic and, and it's played out across many lifetimes. Really, I mean, what a, what a beautiful clarifying card, you know, and some of you need to trust the situation is calling for you to have faith. It will absolutely work out. You know, because you're going to be one tough bitch this week. You're not going to put up with people. You know, this also, this card also talks about obsession. I must miss this. This person, this earth sign, is, and it talks about addictions, totally addicted and suffocated to their job, their career, their money. Like, it's not a good vibe. This if you're still in the process trying to make a decision, this earth sign has got to, I mean, it's, it's definitely, it's definitely, I'm going to say most likely a Virgo or a Gemini. I think it's a Virgo though. But just trust that the situation will work out and things will go in your favor. Definitely. It's a big turning point for you. Whatever it is, this is huge. On a monumental scale. Okay, Libra. Really, and, and to, to come up in your own element at the bottom of the deck is amazing. You could be, you know, coming into the reading, making the decision. But I think you already did this for a lot of you. You already let something go. But if some of you are still stuck on making that decision, the job or the person really needs to be released. All right, Libra, I hope it helped you out in some way, shape, or form. If not, please watch your other signs. But thank you guys so very much. Absolutely love you guys. Love your support. Truly, you guys mean the world to me. Love you guys. Have a beautiful week. I'll see you back here soon. Take care.